classwork two. Let us look at classwork two. It reads as follows. Spirit has limited, has an authorized share capital of 2 million rand. Well, actually it's 2 million because that is just the number of shares. So we've got authorized share capital of 2 million. The company was founded on the 1st of March, 2019. The company's financial year runs from the 1st of March to 28th or 29th of February. Now, I will first start by recording what I read from that uh, short paragraph. I will record it in my ordinary share capital note. I'll start with authorized share capital. My authorized share capital is 2 million. It's just the number of shares, it's the maximum number of shares that the company may issue. And then it says balances, well, these are balances on the 1st of March, 2021, which is just a balance in this case, because we only have one balance that comes from your ordinary share capital. At the beginning of the year, which is the 1st of March, we have share capital worth 6 million. But they're not telling us how many shares were issued for us to have that share capital of 6 million. But now I can't do anything. I'll just go straight to transactions, which says that 50% of shares were in issue at the beginning of the year. Question is, 50% of shares, which shares are they talking about? The only number of shares we are given here is our ordinary share capital, which is that 2 million. So this transaction tells us that 50% of that 2 million has been issued and is in issue on the 1st of March, 2021. Let us record that. How do we get that 50%? You will simply take your authorized number of shares. So under your ordinary share capital, remember I said it will be divided into two. Between the first part will be your authorized shares. The second one will be issued shares. These are shares that you do not have as a company. They're in the hands of the shareholders. And the only thing that you have is money that you received as capital from the shareholders. Under issued shares, we will have 2 million multiplied by 50%. That will give us a million. So that will be the opening number of shares at the beginning of the year. Then we will have balance at the beginning of the year and share capital raised by issuing a million shares will be 6 million. Going back to the transaction, it further says that the company issued 200,000 shares at 70 cents per share on the 1st of June, 2021. That will definitely increase the number of shares that have been issued. So it will increase from a million to 1.2 million because we have issued an extra 200,000 shares. We issued these extra 200,000 shares at 70 cents. So to figure out the actual amount, you will simply take that 70 cents and divide it by 100. Because the amount is given in cents, remember the cents represents division by 100 so that we can convert it into rands. So you will simply take 200,000 multiplied by 70 cents divided by 100 and that will give you 140,000. So our share capital will increase from 6 million to 6,140,000. And the number of shares that we have issued that the shareholders have in their hands will increase from a million to two, by, well, by 200,000 to 1.2 million. The last part says that the company issued 30% of the remaining shares at 205 cents per share on the 30th of January, 2022. That's why you need to figure out how much do we have as remaining shares. We had 2 million shares. At the beginning of the year, we had a million shares in issue. So we are left with 1 million shares. 
when you take 1 billion shares that we still have that are reserves that we haven't issued and minus the 200,000 shares that we have issued on the 1st of June, the remaining number of shares will be 800,000. 30% of that 800,000 was issued on the 30th of June, 2022 by 205 cents. How do we record this? You will have 2 million minus a million minus 200,000. That will give you 800,000. You take that, you multiply it by 30%. It will give you 240,000. So these are shares that we issued on the 30th of January, 2022. We issued these shares at 205 cents. So I'm simply going to take that one, um, 240,000 multiplied by 205 cents. So it'll be 140,000 multiplied by 205 divided by 100. It'll give you 492,000. At the end of the year, I would have issued 1,540,000 shares. So those will be shares in issue by the 28th of Feb, 2022. Share capital from that will be 6,632,000, which is the share capital that we have raised by issuing all the 1,400,000. Now these shares, which is 1,440,000, will be in issue on the 28th of February, 2022. Share capital raised will be 6,632,000. That's the money that we've got from issuing these shares. Okay. Um, just to break it down at one go, we had authorized shares of 2 million. We issued more shares. So 50% of those shares were issued at the beginning. So 50% of 2 million was issued at the beginning of the year which gave us a share capital amount of 6 million, all right? Um, that should actually be 2021 and not 2019. Okay, so that should be on the 1st of March, 2021. The share capital from that will be 6 million. And then we issued 200,000 more shares, um, and you'll just write it as 200,000 uh, additional shares that were issued at 70 cents per share that will simply give us 140. Then we issued 30% of the remaining. The remaining was 800,000. So you take 800,000, you multiply it by 30%, it'll give you 240,000, which is the number of new shares that we issued. And these new shares were issued at 205 cents. So um, you will simply take that zero comma, um, you will actually take that 240,000 multiplied by 205 divided by 100. So 205 divided by 100, it'll give us 492,000. At the end of the year, um, as I've said, number of shares issued will be 1,440,000 and the share capital raised from that will simply be the addition of 6 million plus 140,000 plus 492,000, and that will simply give us our total share capital of 6,632,000. We will be discussing buyback of shares in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. If you have questions, please check uh, description and send me questions on the given platforms. Enjoy your day for now.